Welcome back to Unirunner Video Drum Lessons on this August 17, 2006. Today we're going to be talking about barking hi-hats. A barking hi-hat effect is achieved when you hit the hi-hat while it's open like this and then quickly close it. Uh, an easy way to incorporate that effect into your drumming to practice it is to play eighth notes on the hi-hat like this one and two and three and four and, and at the same time play those same eighth notes on the ride cymbal with your right hand so one and two and three and four and now play sixteenth notes between your two hands with your left hand on the snare drum and your right hand on the ride cymbal so we'll go one E and a, two E and a. At the same time, we're playing those eighth notes on the hi hat. On the hi hat. So what happens is, on those sixteenth notes that you're playing on the snare drum, the one E and a happen at the same time. Your hi hat is open. You can incorporate that into a beat like this by instead of playing those left-handed sixteenth notes on the snare drum move that over to the right the hi hat because you're going to be because you're going to hit the right hi hat at the same time as it's opening and then it'll quickly close for that next sixteenth note it sounds like this so you get the feel for when to hit the cymbal and when to close it you can incorporate that into beats. I like to put that on the back beat, two and four of a lot of regular rock beats to add a little bit of weight emphasis to the back beat. So you can add that barking hi-hat sound into a variety of beats and fills. This week I had some contact with a drummer from the Land Down Under by the name of Chris Bryan. Now, here in this video, Chris can be seen and heard playing the Sonar Twin Effect pedal, which he does an amazing job. Uh, this pedal allows you to play double bass type beats by rocking your foot back and forth. Uh, it has two beaters. When you hit the front of the pedal, one beater hits, and then when you rock your foot back under your heel, another beater hits. Now, Chris's DVD, Independence Part 2, received 4 out of 5 stars in the February 2006 issue of Modern Drummer. And you can visit his website at www.chrisbryan.com for plenty of video samples and also some interactive elements. You can play his drum set virtually. He uses a series of 10 pedals, so it's pretty amazing the command he has of the drum kit. Now the saga of me trying to give away three drum books from Hamar Percussion continues. Last week I talked about uh, this contest, seventh person to email me the name of the drummer for Pearl Jam who's going to win these books. And I thank Steve, Diesel, Mark, Matthew, and Kevin for emailing, the, for emailing me the answer, Matt Cameron. Unfortunately, we didn't get to seven emails so this week the third person to email me the name of the drummer for Dave Matthews band will win these books which include diversified drumming untitled piece number one for jazz trio and drum arrangement duets and that concludes another episode of Unirunner video drum lessons thanks for watching my name is Darren Mathis and if you'd like to reach Unirunner on the web, you can do so at unirunner.com. You can email me at info at unirunner.com. And if you'd like to support this podcast, please visit unirunner.com forward slash donations. Until next time, keep practicing and God bless. <laughs>